welcome to a, a player profile, an athlete profile, I should say, here on CKTV today. And our first guest on the profile, we are joined by Troy Todorak, who uh, has had an exciting few weeks. Um, Troy, thank you very much for joining us. And let's start right there. Uh, we talked about it before we started recording. It has been a very uh, few exciting weeks for you. Um, you have committed to play baseball in Kentucky. Tell me a little bit about that. I can imagine that's a pretty good feeling. Yeah, it's great. Um, got a lot of help, you know, you know from coaches and. One co this one school reached back to me, and I was very excited to go play in the state. So it was a dream of mine. Yeah. So you talked about kind of some of the help you've had uh, mm -hmm. along the way. Um, how did this whole process kind of start? Was it kind of the school approached you? You approached the school? What's the process kind of look like? So I did this. I joined this um, elite baseball development with the early morning, and you post your clips. And the school reached out to me. They liked what they saw, and um, you know, we started talking. Yeah, so Campbellsville University in yeah. Kentucky. Um, another really cool uh, part about this, you received a athletic scholarship as yeah. well for just under $20,000 yeah. um, American. I mean, that, what does that feel like? I imagine just going to play baseball in the States is one thing, but, you know, having financial support and kind of a school wanting you so much that they're going to pay you to come yeah. there kind of thing. I mean, that's really cool too, I bet. Yeah, it's great. It's a great help for me and my family. We're all super stoked about the scholarship. It'll definitely help us uh, financially to get down there. That's awesome. So let's talk a little bit about kind of how you got there. You're, uh, you've been playing baseball here in Prince George mm -hmm. for a while kind of thing. Tell me how you got started in baseball and anything. Well, when I was younger, my parents, they all played baseball and softball. And um, I played all my life basically, but actually, actually I quit baseball in grade eight. I started playing volleyball and basketball a lot, and I was in main sport, and I just started playing baseball again this year, and then um, I just fell in love with it again, and yeah, it just, it all worked out. That's awesome. We're learning, reading a little bit about you, and kind of learning a little bit about you, I, uh, I know that you play first at base and third base, kind of rotate back and forth and yeah. everything. Those are two very different positions, yeah. I can imagine. Uh, yeah. what, what, why the corners? What, what do you like about the corners? Uh, I like third base. It's just like, the ball usually comes there pretty quick, and you have more time. Even though it can be scary sometimes, it's just... It's nice to know you have more time that comes there. And first base is always just a nice, relaxing position. You just gotta catch the ball. Yeah, you know, maybe a few stretches. Yeah, there, exactly. You know, kind of uh, so when you move down to Kentucky and when you get down to Kentucky, is third base kind of the, the position that you want to play? Or you just kind of, when you get there, kind of think, see what fits kind of thing? Yeah, I think um, the, me and the coach talked, and I'm pretty sure my primary position will be third base. So that'll be exciting. Yeah, that'll be really exciting. Get some uh, get some action on the hot. Yeah, exactly. There. Uh, okay, let's talk about the offensive side of the ball as well. Is that something that uh, you really uh, you really like a lot, being able to hit? What, what's kind of the technique when you're up at the plate there? Are you looking to go you looking to go deep, maybe a, maybe a double into the gap, or are you just kind of trying to move base runners? Um, um, I always, you always, I always hit fastball, and I never think to go up there to hit home runs because usually it doesn't work. Like, when you think about it, you can't hit them. I always try to make good contact, even to the out, but good contact, you still feel pretty good about it and confident for your next AB. Absolutely, I mean, that's what happens. You don't think, and then you hit home runs. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, you talked about, I think it's really interesting that you stopped playing baseball, mm -hmm. and then this year you started playing baseball yeah. again. Was that a family decision, or was that something you kind of like, well, you know what, I kind of miss it. Let's uh, yeah. pick it back up. Well, I was just, I didn't really want, I took, um, the summer off for basketball, I didn't play the travel team, and I was like, I had free time, so like, let me just play nice, and I went to the morning baseball, and I started getting offers, and it just it all worked out, it fell into place. So, you play basketball, you play baseball, you mm -hmm. talk about you play volleyball, you kind of like a multi-sport, it sounds like you're a multi-sport athlete, yeah, that yeah. kind of, if it, you know, if it's a sport, you're kind of involved with it. Yeah, it was, um, oh yeah, I love all the type of sports, they all, and all the other sports I play definitely helped me with my uh, journey so far, so it's nice to get, like, Difference between all between all sports. Is there a sport? I mean, I know baseball, of course, is your main sport now, yeah. kind of thing. But uh, is there a sport maybe you haven't tried that you're like maybe one day I'll try, I'll try that? Uh, sport I want to try boxing. One of them. I think that'd be really cool. Awesome. Well, Troy, again, congratulations on everything in the last couple of weeks here. It'll be exciting to follow your career uh, down in Kentucky. Troy, thank you very much for joining us. Awesome. Thank you. It's great having us. Great to be here.